Hey everyone, Dan here. I wanted to talk to you today about the perfect brush option on the masking brush. It's one of the most powerful tools inside of On One Photo or On One Effects. And I wanted to give you a quick tour on some of the adjustments that we've made to it in version 10.5 to help you get the most out of it. First off, to get to the perfect brush, just make sure you've got the masking brush selected. And then up here in the tool options bar, click on the perfect brush toggle. You can also use the Command R or Control R keyboard shortcut to turn it on and off on demand. I'm going to zoom in to 100% and we're going to scoot over here to the orange leaves and we'll kind of talk about how the perfect brush works. The perfect brush works by detecting a color under the center of the brush and then painting away any colors that are similar to it that the brush touches. So watch as I paint along the edge of these leaves, it paints away the blue because it's under the minus symbol at the center of the brush and it keeps the leaves for me automatically. It makes it really easy to mask out tough subjects like leaves or tree branches or hair or even something semi-transparent like smoke. Now one of the things you've noticed is there's little areas of blue on the inside of these leaves that I want to get rid of too. Well, if I just simply paint into them, as soon as the center of the perfect brush hits one of those orange leaves, it starts to paint away that orange color too. Obviously that's not what I want. I'm just going to use the undo command to step back here. But what I can do is I can lock the perfect brush so that it stops sampling color as it moves just by holding down the command key on the Mac or the control key on Windows when I paint. So whenever I hold that down, it stops sampling. So if I click, hold down my command key, and paint in, it's only going to get rid of the one color that it sampled when I held down the command key or the control key, that blue color, just like that. There we go. I'm going to paint a little bit more over here on the right so we can take a look at some of the options that we have with the perfect brush. All right, now the reason I did this is twofold. The perfect brush has to make a balance between removing color fringing on an edge and protecting really thin boundaries. And in this area, we have both. If you look along the edge of the leaves, you'll see there's a tiny little bit of a blue fringe along those. And if we look over on the right, where those tiny thin branches are at, some of them got painted away. It has a hard time of doing both at the same time. You're asking it to do two opposite things. So in version 10.5, we introduced some new controls to help you get the most out of the perfect brush on different parts of your photo. I'm just going to undo back here a little bit to get back towards where the beginning. Those options live under the gear in the tool options bar. And when you click on that, you'll see there's two new sliders, one for color threshold and one for transition. The color threshold determines how far <clears throat> the color threshold tells you how far away a color from the center of the brush can be that will get painted away. At a low threshold, it's only going to paint away the exact color under the center of the brush. And as the threshold goes up, it'll paint away more and more colors that are further away from the center of the brush. Transition controls how quickly it transitions from keep to drop. So at a high transition, you'll get a soft graduation between keep and drop. And at a lower transition, it'll create a harder edge. The settings that are set by default are 4 and 90. And that'll give you good results in most situations. However, on a photo like this, where we have those kind of two competing issues, you might want to adjust them as you paint through each area. When you have an area where you're getting a little bit of a halo around it, it's oftentimes best to use a higher color threshold and a lower transition to remove that little bit of an edge. So I'm going to bring my color threshold up from 4 to about 15, and I'll bring my threshold down to about 50. And now watch as I paint through. It's kind of subtle, but you'll see how it does a better job of removing those little bits of blue along the edges. It creates a cleaner edge. Now if I use those same settings over here on these tiny little branches, you'll see how it's going to paint more of them away, more than I want. I'm just going to undo, and now I'll show you the settings I would use for those thin branches. 
In this case, we want to go to a more precise color selection by moving the color threshold slider down to zero and then moving the transition all the way up to 100. This will be the most precise color removal but with the softest edge transition. There we go. Now watch as I paint through those tiny little branches how it keeps all the little branches in place and creates a nice clean transition. I'm going to hit the O key on my keyboard just so I can take a look at the mask. There we go. So you can see I kept all the detail in the fine little branches and you can see I have a nice clean crisp edge on the leaves without any halo. There you go. There's some of the new options for the perfect brush in version 10.5. Thanks for watching.